Alright, today we're going to read this article and we're going to do a couple tasks with it. The first thing we're going to do is understand the main idea of the article and highlight our key details as we read. Then we're going to read a sample writing prompt about this article. You're going to deconstruct the prompt, you're going to break it down by circling the to-do words, drawing arrows to what you're supposed to do, and making a do-what chart. And finally, you're going to write your claim or thesis statement about the writing prompt. So we're going to start off with our highlighters reading this article. Highlight along with me. Twitter activists goad LeBron James into Tamir Rice grand jury protest. The first thing I probably need to know is what the word goad means. Goad means to provoke, right? So this is suggesting that people on Twitter are trying to provoke LeBron James into protesting Tamir Rice's case. Devastated that two white Cleveland police officers will not be charged for killing Tamir Rice, a 12-year-old African-American boy, social justice activists want to keep their fight alive. With that in mind, they've turned to the closest thing Northeast Ohio has to a superhuman hero, LeBron James, two-time NBA champion and social commentator. Last year, Le James said Tamir's Rice, Tamir Rice's death showed how much further we still have to go, according to Cleveland.com. Rice was in possession of a realistic pellet gun when police responded to a 911 call that said there was a guy with a pistol in the park. So essentially, if you remember, Tamir Rice was shot when he was playing in the park with a fake BB gun. In 2012, James, along with his Miami Heat teammates, donned a hoodie in honor of Trayvon Martin. The 17-year-old unarmed African-American teen was killed in Florida by a Latino man who, was maintain who maintained he was shooting in self-defense. Martin was wearing a hoodie when he died. Activists has unleashed a Twitter campaign asking James to put his season on hold until the Department of Justice imprisons the murderers of Tamir Rice. The campaign is using the hashtag NoJusticeNoLeBron. The Federal Department of Justice is investigating the fatal November 2014 shooting. So people want LeBron James to stop playing basketball until the police officers are found guilty. Some supporters of the campaign cited the successful ouster of former University of Missouri System President Tim Wolfe as an example of the inherent power of athletes to influence change. Wolf resigned after university football players went on strike to protest his handling of several racial incidents on campus. Right? So in Missouri, the football team protested by not playing their games in order to get the president fired because he was racist. Other supporters have posted videos of iconic heavyweight boxer Muhammad Ali and his refusal to be drafted into the army in 1967. Ali, who is a Muslim, said it was against his religion. Why should they ask me to put on a uniform and go 10,000 miles from home and drop bombs and bullets on brown people in Vietnam while so-called Negro people in Louisville are treated like dogs and denied simple human rights, Ali famously asked. I ain't got no quarrel with the Viet Cong, he added. The Viet Cong was the North Vietnamese militant force that fought against the United States Army during the Vietnam War. So essentially, Muhammad Ali protested the treatment of black people in America by refusing to fight our war. James has not responded to the request in public or on Twitter, leading some activists to suggest times have changed. We wouldn't have to tweet Muhammad Ali, activist Kwame Rose tweeted. The effort has split Rice supporters on social media. Some are questioning whether the request is a fair burden to place on an individual. After being convicted of evading the draft, Muhammad Ali was stripped of his heavyweight title, sentenced to five years in prison, and banned from the sport for three years. Although, although Ali avoided jail time, he was fined $10,000. If James agrees to bench himself, it might be a powerful symbolic gesture, unprecedented for such a famous athlete. However, he's not facing jail time, and sitting out of the season would have no influence on the Department of Justice. So the Department of Justice might not change anything just because LeBron James wants them to. 
pointing to the University of Missouri as an example presents problems as well. Football players, along with other student activists, were able to force Wolf's resignation because it hinged upon one man's decision instead of a time-consuming investigation or legal decision. All right, so in Missouri it worked because it was one man making a choice and it affected him financially as opposed to an investigation or a court hearing. Now that you've read the article and the key ideas, you're going to go through the steps we did the other day as far as deconstructing this prompt. Read with me, and then we're going to do our to-do list here. You have just read Twitter activist goad LeBron James. Write an essay in which you determine the central idea from the text and analyze how the central idea is developed over the course of the text, including how it is shaped and refined by specific details. Cite strong and thorough evidence from the text to support your analysis. Follow the conventions of standard written English. All right, so if you remember, we're going to do three things. We're going to circle the to-do words, draw an arrow to what we're supposed to do, and make a do-what chart to break the prompt down. So the first thing I want you to do is circle all the action words that you are supposed to do. I'll give you a couple here. Write. Okay? So take a moment, pause the video, and circle all of your action words. You're looking for... at least four. Okay? Pause the video now. All right, now that you've circled these words, write, determine, analyze, and cite, you're going to draw an arrow to what you're supposed to do. So you're supposed to write what? An essay. Pause the video and draw your arrows now. Make sure that yours looks like this. And our final step is making a do what chart. Put do here on the left side and what here on the right. Under the do, we're going to write all of our to-do words. Write determine, analyze, and cite. These are the things you have to do. Now, ask yourself the question, write what? Write an essay. Okay. Fill out the rest of the chart. Pause the video now and fill out the rest of the chart. Make sure your chart looks like this. So this is your prompt broken down. Right? It's almost like a checklist. Write an essay that determines the central idea, analyze how the idea is developed, cite evidence. This is what you need to have in your final product. All right? One, two, three, four things. That's a lot easier than everything that was up in the prompt before. Now we're on to our final step. Your final step is going to be writing your thesis or claim that answers the prompt. This is going to be for a grade, and it's going to replace the grade that you had before. So some hints, right? Make sure that you're answering what is your argument, right? What is the answer to the question? So that is probably going to be the central idea. When I look back up here at what I have to do, I've got to determine the central idea, right? Right here. I've got to determine that. Right there. Oh, uh, sorry. Let's try it like this. Right there. I've got to determine the central idea. That's what I'm doing, all right? And then... How I'll prove it, how I'll prove it is going to be details from the text. Okay, and that's this part here. How the idea is developed. How the idea is developed. So, I will probably start it with something like the central idea is, and then you've got to figure that out. What's the central idea? What is this mostly about? Comma, and the author develops it by, so one thing I know he does is he compares James to Ali by comparing James to Ali. Think of two other ways, two other details from the text that develop the central idea. Yours will look something like this, so go ahead and stop now 
complete your prompt, and when you're done, watch the second video on Blackboard.